So 60 minutes, they've had two 90-minute sessions yesterday, Anthony, all in dry conditions, all very similar to today. So this is all about continuing to massage the car, especially when you've got a car that's as different as the one at the front of the queue there, the Peugeot. Evidently, it's different because it's got now a rear wing. The team are telling us that the only things that carry over are the windscreen at the beginning of the roof ahead of the air intake. Everything else on the car is brand new, not least of which they now, like everybody else, have narrower front tyres and wider rear tyres as everybody else had. They had equal width front and rears in the original design of the car. And the drivers are now saying it actually drives like a racing car, whereas before it drove like something very different. Yeah, I think the driver's going to be having quite a different feel uh, to this Peugeot as Stoffel van Dorn there on board the 94. So they come up the hill towards Piratella turn nine. And it, it's a, they're going to have to learn this brand new car, basically, uh, with the different wheel dimensions, as you mentioned, now matching all of the others in the hypercar category. So they're now on a level playing field in that respect, rather than having front tyres that were the same width as the rear tyres before. I've driven cars like that in the past. It is a bit of a bizarre uh, experience. But you can see here, all of the cars and drivers just struggling desperately to get some temperature into their tyres. And already there was a front lockup, I think, by one of the Ferraris, I think it was car 50, even coming down towards nice and slow in towards turn two.